Yo, yo, yo! Alright. We wanna get unlimited, unlimited grapes. We need a pedestal. We need some bone arrows. We need to make a grab farm. And we need to automate the uh, bone arrow shooting. Let's start with the pedestal. This is, if I counted it right, it's the exact amount of quartz we need. 49 blocks. We need 12 pillars. We need 9 blocks. And the rest is... I must have miscounted. Hmm. Yeah, I understand. It's only 39 blocks. Weird. You need a pedestal that is built like this. Bam. We need some bone arrows. Each bone gives us an end around the stack and a quarter of grapes. Uh, oh yeah, the pedestal is done. We can put this on. You can see we It's magical! This is gonna take five minutes. But do I need those five minutes anyway? This is the layout. You have like the dispensers here. Those are the dispensers with each like the 13 blocks around that they affect. And then you have one extra block for the uh, grape block plants. Those are blue. And then the red ones are the stakes. Okay, after we've built this setup, we need to add one more on one side. And now we can place the stakes. I just looked up, I will probably cut that out. Uh, and now we can kind of connect it to a string. Oh, first we put join each thing. And yeah, again, probably cut it. When you shift and hold right click, you can't fuck up. Like it doesn't let you fuck up and the uh, train line doesn't break. Makes it much easier. Alright, and then again, the side where you added, well, it's a bit weird, like the side where you didn't add those you won't put grapes on. And everything else it should be no 64 grape seeds that you need to use. Well, you also need to fill this in. This was just to show the form. We wait now until this is grown. We can use the game rule random tick speed in this. Okay, and what you want to do f and f at first, like these are already good. This, like you always have the, the plant blocks, those don't produce grapes, and the grape producing side plants. And of course you want on the lines only the grape producing side plants. And to get that we first need 
only grape uh, only the blocks on all places where s where the the stems are so this we need to remove and we can remove that with for example shears that are not bad quality like if you have shears that have like minus stick speed that will break the twine if you break it like with your hand it will also break the twine but with those shears it should work exactly also works with advanced efficiency method but you have to watch out that you don't install a mine and then like break the twine afterwards but yeah this is uh, looking like this because i have uh, random tick speed insanely high usually you have to wait it takes a while but just to show off i'm gonna do it like this all right this is now fully prepared at this point you can also break all the all the dirt and all the stakes. You can also do that while um, while waiting. Like as soon as the stake is grown like this, you can already remove the dirt below. And as soon as there is a plant block above, you can also remove the stake or stem. I don't know how to call it. All right. So now, next next goal is Cool, thanks. All right, this is done now. G fucking G. Holy shit. And you can see we have those added ones. That was the one block we added on one side. And then we still have the old layout of. Like, here's the dispenser. me some dirt. And then like from here to this is the dispenser. This is the dispenser. And this is the dispenser. You see this is like a kind of cross shape or whatever. Okay, now we have to put the dispensers there and wire them. I found that it's good to have like one di one block distance between them so with the polarized stone you can like slide the grapes off that fall on top. So that's what we're gonna do. We're done with this bullshit. Now it's just... Mm. With carry on you can make your life much easier. So the blocks I'm destroying right now is where the dispenser has to go. You can just place the dispenser and you will see it faces downwards. If you look a bit up. If I would just place the block instead of doing carry on. Then it would be much harder to get the right angle to have it actually face down. With carry on, you can just get it uh, here. Okay, and then it's your freedom if you want to put greenhouse glass here for using less less bone arrows or like having having it grow on the side or if you put glass or if you put whatever. I use greenhouse just because I can. So you do the same layout. Now 
and then you connect them. Forgot that. Just put three in from each in the middle. Bam. Now they are all shooting at the same time. And now it's up to you whether you want to put like a block in the middle with a button below a, tran a non transparent block. This wouldn't work, this doesn't power, I think at least. I'm not sure if the greenhouse does power. What I usually, or what I started to do is like just take one side that is open here and just make a redstone torch tower. Uh, Uh, put this on the side here, so if I put a button here, then they invert. So right now it's not powered, and when they invert, this is powered. Powers this block, powers this redstone line. And you can hear it. Uh, the dispensers fire. Alright, and by now the pedestal is done. It looks like this when it's done. Just right click it. Sometimes it doesn't work when you right click, then you have to use a different slot in the hotbar. I don't know why. We got 64, we need to divide that by 4, like this. 16 each, meaning we can get around 16 stacks of grapes plus bottles, or 20 stacks of grapes, I would expect. And we're done. How many stacks is this? This is pretty much exactly 20 stacks, minus 10. Nice. I don't know how long this took, but like around 5 minutes. So the next step is how can we. Well, let's cheat a bit. Let's put 10 more. How can we make wine out of this? And for that, I showed some people already, but there's a little trick with armor stands. So yeah, you decide where you want it, you build a piston next to it, like this. This is how it's gonna look in the end. And we need to align, well, we need the glass uh, pane. This is, by the way, it's not my design, but uh, and some people know it already. Well, it's pretty cool. I really like it. So we need to align the armor stands against this glass pane with the water flow. Uh, 
now when you click this anything in here gets directly like 32 get directly transformed into the fluid so we got 20 stacks of grapes so we need five stacks of glass bottles and we will also time again how fast can we make uh, yeah, grape juice out of this uh, I definitely need a chest for that because it's not gonna fit in my inventory that's definitely enough alright so I usually get 8 stacks in my inventory with 2 stacks of glass bottles Alright, that's how many <laughs> grape juice bottles you get from 16 bones. But yeah, that's the whole thing. Hope that helped. Hope I see a lot of those, those builds in the future. And good luck with that. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.